What's happening, everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. This is going to be our hands-on review of the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. Now, Apple is not shy about the fact that cameras aren't the only thing that you can plug in using this USB interface. But for all of those devices, we're gonna go ahead and make a separate video and you can find the link for that at the end of this one. So let's go ahead and focus on the camera adapter itself. There are two big differences between this model and the previous model. First up is the fact that this one has passed through charging. So you can charge your iPad at the same time you're using whatever USB device you're gonna be connecting. On top of that, this also supports USB 3.0. Now, while that is very good, the problem is it only works on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It does not work, it does not support USB 3 on the 9.7 inch iPad Pro, so only the biggest of the Apple tablets. You'll have two ports on there, the actual USB port, which is designated by that camera icon, and then a lightning port, which is that charging icon. So again, you can charge while you are using whatever device. So not only are you charging, but you're adding some extra power. So if something you're using needs more power, you can plug that in as well. And it'll give you a little warning saying, oh, not enough power. When you plug it in, it's like, oh, we're good now. And you can go ahead and use it. So before I get blasted in the comments, how does this actually work with cameras? Well, I transferred a two gig file onto my iPad Pro 12.9 inch using USB 3. That two gig file took about 31 seconds. However, when I transferred that same file to my iPad Air 2 over USB 2.0, it took about 75 seconds. So it was significantly faster on that iPad Pro utilizing that full USB 3.0 speed. If you're a pro that takes a lot of photos and videos that you want on your iPad, or maybe you wanna connect a USB microphone, then this is definitely a worthy upgrade. You can find it for $39 and we'll put a link below in the description. Check out our other video so you can see all the different USB devices that you can connect using this connection kit. Otherwise, subscribe if you found this video useful. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.